have a look at your roundabouts then. Right. I've just got a diagram here so we can visualise what we're talking about. Um, what's your understanding so far of, of roundabouts? What? Tell me what you know already. All I know is when, say if you want to take, just go straight on. Yeah. They go on the second exit, I think it is. Yeah, so <laughs> 12 o'clock. You stay to the right. You see it's to the right lane, but you also look to your right and your left. Because there's, so if there's the first exit, there's a car there waiting, and then there's like a, there's cars going around the roundabout. Yeah, you do need to look to the right. You might look to the left. I'd, I'd, I would probably look more sort of forwards and right. You know, so you're looking forwards for cars that might be backing up on the roundabout. Like you said, cars that are currently on the roundabout as well. Um, we give way to the right. All right, so that's the main place you should be. Um, I say glancing, not staring, not looking, but glancing. So it'd be 50-50 with your obs, forward, right, forward, right, forward, right. When you do look forwards, you'll see the left, the left side out of your peripheral vision anyway on your left. So, you know, but remember that these are generally in front of you anyway, so there's not as much risk there on the left. Um, you said that you'd use the right-hand lane to go straight on. That is correct in some cases. And there is a few near you, I think, that are like that. Yeah. But generally speaking, as a general rule, it is left and lane right. for straight ahead and left, generally. Now, if it's anything other than that, it will specify. Do you know where it'll normally specify, where it'll yeah. tell you? It'll normally say on the floor, so floor markings, it has to or else everybody will get it wrong. Or there'd be road signs at the side, you know, telling you that it's um, irregular, you could say. All right, so um, so we said we use left and lane for going straight on, second exit generally, it could even be third sometimes. Mm, which lane would you use for turning left then, do you think? To left, yeah, to left lane. Left lane, and so, pretty obvious you can work this one out. If you're turning right, which lane would you right. generally use, right and lane? What well, gear would you go in round roundabout? Brilliant question. So, and this is really to the next thing, um, identifying a roundabout. How would you identify a roundabout from afar? Uh, there will be like a post, post sign saying there will yeah. be a roundabout. That's it. Now to identify, a, so you're going to know to start planning, aren't you, on the approach then? Oh, it will be those, won't it? It will be, particularly, so that's your warning triangle, particularly yeah. if the roundabout's just round the yeah. bend, you know, it's just saying, oh, Around the bend, there's a roundabout. Be careful, be aware, um, and to identify exactly where the roundabout is, look for your blue circles. Blue circles give mandatory instruction, and obviously, it's saying go to the left, so we all go to the left. Um, going back to your question, once we've identified it, what you need to be aware of is that roundabouts are a form of an open junction, they are a junction, but they're designed to keep traffic flowing. So, with that said, then. It's an open junction. We, we've just been covering junctions. What gear yeah. do you think you would generally use? It's not set in stone, but what do you, what do you think? On an open second. Second gear, generally. Okay. It's going to give us time to approach, get in lane, um, and be scanning forwards, right, forwards, right, forwards, right, while deciding whether to brake or possibly accelerate. It, it depends on the width and the size of the roundabout. All right. So, um, does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So, I've uh, I've seen lots of them, but a few of those. Like one was when when you exit the A thirty eight, you go down this like bend, and <coughs> it leads you down Atwell and Hilton. There's like okay. a roundabout there, like where this got two roundabouts. And the first one where you go around that bend, it will have that triangle. It will have a triangle sign saying. That with the circle right because it's on a bend yeah 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 it's, they're always warnings in triangles so the next thing is then let's talk about the um, mirror work on the approach because we're potentially going to be slowing down aren't we so what mirrors would you or what, what mirror would you generally check if you was positioning in the right hand lane before you position the middle and Perfect centre and right, and if you're positioning left, because you're going to be probably centre in this lane initially, aren't you? And then when it opens up, so if you're going to 
go left, which one? Which mirror? Center and then left. Perfect. Um, signals to use. If you're turning left, would you signal on the approach for other people? Yeah. You would, which, and obviously you give a left signal. If you're going straight on, so second exit, we could say, would you give a signal on the approach? No. It's, uh, what, what my dad does, he locks and goes straight on, and then when he's turning, straight on, turning at the exit, he would indicate it then. Okay, yeah. Why is it important that we um, signal? Don't let like, like, all of the drivers behind us know that we're turning off. Correct. And what about, as we're turning off, what's going to be looking, what's possibly coming down this road as we're turning it? Yeah. So they're relying on our signal, aren't they? To carry on going. Remember that these are designed to keep traffic flowing because they're open. So the earlier we give information, um, so we'll give way to our right, they'll give way to theirs and theirs and theirs and so on and so on. The earlier we give the signal, the, the more the tra well, traffic won't slow down generally. You need to say that we're coming off. Where's the earliest point where you could give that left signal, do you think? Where it wouldn't be confusing. As I say, saying taking second exit. Um, when you're going round, I mm. think about the... Okay. I mean, that would be okay, but I would say that that would be a little bit late. You might have caused somebody to start to break there as they come down right. this bit. So I'd say the earliest point you could give it was about there. You know, level with that central point there. Yeah. So it could be grass, it could be a raised um, curb with a, maybe a bollard on or whatever. Um, but you're going to keep these guys in the know and they're going to be really thankful. There's nothing worse than slowing down and you didn't need to. Yeah. It's really annoying. Um, just talking about the approach for straight on, you might give a, an early brake signal to show the people behind that you're slowing down. Yeah? Yeah. But you wouldn't give a, a, a signal on the approach for that one. A, an indicator, rather. A random bus will go like the same name or. There's some different ones, so we we're gonna be uh, we will be looking at some mini roundabouts as well. Yeah, because what are these ones called? The ones with so many lanes. Um, so they, so if it's more than uh, two lanes, that they generally have got like a spiral on them. So a, a, we we'll call it a spiral roundabout. Other people might have different terms for it. But I've seen one of them. It was when my brother didn't like the roundabouts, having trouble on there. That spider roundabout. Yes, that one that one shares that principle, and the reason being is because if you're if you're in the inside lane and there's two lanes next to you, how the hell are you going to exit safely? Yeah. You can't cross two lanes of traffic to exit no. a roundabout. So so they have their own natural way of moving you across, uh, but we'll, we will cover those in depth, and I'll make sure that you're fully up to speed with those by the time you're driving on your own, basically. You know, part of your past your test. Uh, so. The only thing we haven't talked about is turning right. So if I say to you, oh, turn right, how would you identify a right turn, do you think? Uh, in, in like look through your centre mirror and right. Good. And then indicate. Indicate, yes. Yeah, so you would signal on the approach. How would you identify what a right turn is, though? Um, is it by going through the inside? Yes, yeah, so right. inside lane all the way. Uh, unless the roundabout moves you outward, so we'll be looking on the floor for road markings. But it's generally anything past 12 o'clock. So if, if you look at this as a clock face, yeah. as you look forward, any, anything generally after 12 would be considered a right turn. So you would use a right hand lane to, to use it, generally speaking. Uh, the thing with roundabouts, they're very inconsistent, and they're all a little bit different. But um, you'll see that the more we do as, as we go along. If we do come across any mini roundabouts, slightly different sign, three arrows on this one, again, indicating the direction of your travel. Uh, we still give way to the right. We won't be dealing with any of these just yet, yeah. the, the double ones. Um, and you've got the white paint on the floor. It's not a major issue if you clip the paint with the back tire, for example, because they can be quite tight sometimes, but um, don't deliberately just drive over them. Big I've bit. seen like, loads of people do that. Yeah, the danger is if you if you drive over it and this guy's turning right, for example, let's say you're, say you're the red car and just go straight across, this one's turning right, you've both got the same time, that could cause a bit of a... <coughs> it's what potentially happened, a bit... It's what happened to my dad once before he had his Focus, he had a Toyota. What happened was my dad was doing it properly mm. and then this other <coughs> Mercedes driver 
He was with his, he looks like he was a young, he looks like he was with his mates and everything. He went straight on, and when my dad was turning out, he didn't look or anything, he was just going straight on. He was like talking to his friends, right? So I could see. And then my dad clipped his back bumper, Ooh. side back bumper. Yeah, yeah, th there is risk there. So, you know, again, it's an open junction. Some mini roundabouts are more close than others, so you might get there and you you might have to be a bit slower on some of them, you know. But um, obviously, I'll be guiding you through them as, as we do it. Is there any questions about... Uh, we won't be dealing with mini roundabouts today because it's not local to us today, uh, but we will be covering them for sure. Is there any questions about your roundabouts? Uh, is everything making sense yeah, in theory? Yeah. One thing they haven't mentioned is identification of lanes on the approach. Now... This one splits into two lanes because yeah. it's a bigger roundabout and there's actually five exits altogether. Some roundabouts are going to be classed as a one car roundabout. Do you know what I mean by that? No. And what I mean is that there isn't lanes specifically on the approach. It's out on the approach. It's only wide enough for one car. So if that's the case and the roundabout hasn't got any lane markings or there's nothing to suggest it, you would be more sort of central on the roundabout is what I'm saying. You wouldn't sort of go really close into them. spots then Raj? Just in case I come past. Correct, uh, but you've um, you've checked your mirrors though, what, why isn't that enough? Um, oh, for um, cyclists or anything. Before. Yeah, remember there's a point at the car where the mirrors don't show you. Yeah. yeah? So it, it, that's why it's called blind spot, because you have to physically check it, okay, so yeah. the shoulder glance. I know you know that, but just, re just recapping it with you. Turn right at the end. Right, left, right, left. That's it. Getting all the way to the giveaways. Gas on in advance, ready. Good. So I'll give you a full talk through to begin with, is that okay? Yeah. We see the warning triangle just there on the left. We're going to yeah. turn left first exit at the roundabout, just round the bend. Check centre and left mirror, what's behind and the side. Sorry about that. And it's clear to the right, which we agree. Yeah. So, yeah, just, I suppose, it's a very open junction, isn't it? Yeah, I sometimes get confused because you know that in the, I don't know what name it is, the car, that black car that was round around. Yeah. About. He had an indicator, so I don't know who, like, because that sometimes confused me whether he's actually going to turn into that. Could do a U turn, yeah. couldn't it? Yeah. So you need to, like, so I was fairly confident that I feel, I feel like you was as well. Did you feel like its speed and positioning suggested that yeah. it wasn't going to do? But it can, because it's got the signal on, there's possibility, isn't there? Yeah. I mean, there's a possibility with that, signal. But yeah, you've got to try and read their speed and positioning, and just, if you're in doubt, just hover the foot brake and hover the clutch so that you're ready to yeah. act immediately. Does that make sense? Yeah. And the other thing is as well, it's not set in stone that we use second on the approach. It might be sometimes that we're in third and it feels comfortable and controlled and you've, you've had time to look, but we'll assess it as we go through. So we're just identifying head, because it's a blue circle and the chevron arrows. Yeah. And we're going to turn left first exit at this roundabout. So check in your set, well done, and signal to confirm your intentions. Uh, it looks like a one car roundabout. We'll yeah. position slightly left. Uh, so looking to the right, forwards, right and forwards. Keep going because it's clear. So the, yeah, well done. So the earlier you observe, um, you might not have to even brake. You yeah. might be a case of just driving on. You know, just treat it as a through road. Yeah. 
So really try and utilise the observations going forward. Now we're going to turn right at the next roundabout, just the blue arrow above the wheelie bins. Right. Check centre, well done, and signal right. Now it is quite close, so we will drop into second on this one. Right. Clutch gently back up as it looks clear. Just gently, yeah. try not yeah. to bounce up too much. Keep the signals cancelled, but we'll check centre and left mirror and signal left to exit. Didn't mention that in the brief actually, apologies for that. So we need to, we're just checking the left door mirror as we come off yeah. to see if anything's joined us on the exit. As we as we steer off, something could steer in yeah. and we could meet. Some roundabouts will require you to have a blind spot glance, but again, they're all a little bit different, so it depends where the exit's situated. Yeah. As we go through the training, I'll be giving you lots of examples of when that's necessary. miss really it was a, it was changing as we spoke yeah. turn right at the roundabout let's ease off because the bus might give way check your mirrors and signal glance into the right keep the car rolling cover brake and clutch we might not press them back on the gas then because it's clear would you agree yeah yeah taking the second exit so we can check center and left door mirror now and signal left well done you're doing a really good job See if there's anything travelling close behind. Well done. I'm only asking because you didn't uh, check there. Why is it important? To know if like, cars are like right behind you. Okay. So we're going to know what better, you know, whether to speed up a bit quicker than aren't we, yeah. or, or whether it's dangerous to speed up. If something's about to overtake, we could check the right door yeah. mirror as well. What we got coming up? What can you see? Roundabout. Yeah, warning there's a roundabout, and we're going to go ahead at the roundabout, so in the direction of the traffic light, oh, it's right. second exit. So we're going to check what's behind, centre mirror, and just easing off the gas in third. It feels quite reasonable actually. Uh, the pedestrian, are we going to get eye contact? Yes, he's stopping, so keep the car travelling, and it's clear to the 
Oh, right, so, okay, so into first gear. And what you're saying then, how's it looking to your right, Raj? Right. Clear yeah. to go, yeah? yeah? And we're taking second exit, so when would you normally, when would you signal second exit's ahead, look. Oh, right, okay. Just got the little side oh, right. on the left there. And just pull up on the left for me at a safe place. You can pull in this cycle box because it's broken lines. Right, okay. Glad you had that check. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. Right, so is there any questions with yeah, the Yeah, I'm confused. I don't know whether, like, if, if it was, um, was it my, I don't know if it's a giveaway if they let that pedestrian cross or. Okay. Yeah, that's why I should pull in, because uh, I just thought it's good to have a little chat about that. First of all, there was a, like um, a crossing point for pedestrians, weren't they, in the yeah. middle of the road. It's called a central island, that is. And it's a safe place for people to stand. And it's normally when it's a busier road and the roads are quite wide, you know. But it isn't their priority. It's not mandatory that you stop for them. Right. What's the danger in you stopping? But is it the cars behind? Mm. Are they they're probably not going to expect you to stop there, no. are they? They're going to expect you to slide down for the roundabout, possibly but um, not for that. So, you didn't really want to let the pedestrian go, did you, there? Or no. That wasn't uh, your, no, I didn't I think trying, that was your intention. I was trying to slow down early mm. so that I've got a better control of if I go around the roundabout. Mm. So what you want to... Do you remember earlier when we said you can give information from your car's positioning and speed, more yeah. speed in that case, the pedestrian perceived that as, oh, cheers, you're letting me go. Yeah. So you want to try and control your speed in such a way that doesn't suggest that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was a little bit different because it's difficult because he's right next to the roundabout and we're only just starting off with the roundabout. So um, I'm glad you didn't wave him or anything like that though. We yeah. just spoke about that. Anyway. Uh, so does that make sense now? It wasn't yeah. his priority. It was just waiting. You've got to be careful that your speed doesn't give the wrong impression. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Drive on when you're ready. What are you going to remember to check this time, Raj, just before you uh, turn the, the tyres? Uh, Good stuff. Oh, just a quick one. We've got to make sure that your blinds, particularly on a fast ride like this, that your blind spot check is really yeah. well timed. What I would try and do is, because you're steering from left to right, aren't you? Well, you're steering right. Yeah. Just lower your bike for me while we just lower the bike and come off the gas for me. Just because that could start to burn the clutch out if we like that for too long. I just want it. So what you want to do is you want to have your feet ready like that and then do your obs. So prepare, then observe right. and then move. But don't observe right to left because then you're going to drive off and things could have changed on the yeah. right. Look from left to right. So left or, you know, so a six point check really. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. yeah? Sorry about that, but didn't do the checks. All right, yeah. <laughs> what could have happened? I could have gone too quick. Could have got crushed by the grab and tipper. <laughs> could have been. So, your preparation was fantastic, but don't forget to check. Shall I give you some help with that this time? Yeah. All right. Just uh, get your car exactly where it was before, so handbrake on and um, feet ready. Right, okay. So bike point and, and gas. And I wouldn't start the obs until it looks to be clear in your centre mirror. Until it appears to be clear. There's no yeah. point. I mean, you can keep up to date in this, don't get me wrong, but... So, what are you saying now? A bit, bit of a gap developing, yeah? Yeah. Or not? No. It's... Just... So while you're waiting, keep your bike, but just come off your gas so that you're not burning excess fuel. Lower the bite a bit as well. It's quite a high bite and a little bit unnecessary. Alright, getting them feet back ready again then. 
Now we're going to check from left. So left blind spot, left door mirror, centre mirror, right door mirror, right shoulder, and away we go. No need for a signal. Probably pop a signal on because of just joined yeah. us behind. But what I don't want you to get in the habit of doing is sitting there with a the signal flashing and there's traffic passing. Yeah. Because it's going to give you, know, it's going to give you uh, misleading information. Saying that you're going to move off and you're not really, are you? You're not going to move in front of them when they're really close. Yeah. Is there anything that you're not sure of about that, the moving off bit? Silver, do we need to break or can we carry on rolling? What do you oh, think? Yeah. I agree. Good job there, well done. And it's quite a busy one that one at times, you know. Yeah. So um and some have you noticed some roundabouts aren't as visible on the approach? Yeah. To the right of me. What's the speed limit on this road then? It is. I just pop it into third going down the hill. Probably wouldn't want to add any gas as you're in 28, 29 though. And at the end of the road, turn left. So scanning really quick. 
quickly. The scanning definitely worked, didn't it? Yeah. Do you think you'd have gone if you had like you know when we first started today's lesson, do you think you'd have gone then? Or do you think you'd have stopped? I wouldn't have stopped. You wouldn't you? What did you think about your positioning when you turned left? I think I was in I was like close well not like very close but close. But I would have like it would have helped if I were to like been a bit closer because it looks like for me I was like going into the other lane. Yeah, so do you think you need to start steering a bit sooner then yeah. with your left steer is you so probably while you're scanning right and left start feeding that if it's a left turn yeah. feeding that steering wheel downwards so you're kinking the car out you know if the curb peels you're kinking the car with it and that's less work to do when you're in the new road then as well as i say you're not just observing for traffic you're observing for your positioning too At the end of the road, we'll turn left. Hold on. So we're looking for good left positioning this time with good obs. First gear, first gear. Plenty of power then as we're on the on the incline. Positioning weren't too bad, it was it could have been a little bit better, but it was yeah. better than before. And um, do you know why you needed first then and why second wouldn't have really worked? At that speed anyway. Because it was it was I going uphill. It was. Yeah. So if you've got to hold the car still, like we discussed last week, yeah. at the holding point or, or edging forward from there, you're gonna struggle, aren't you? Well, yeah. it's gonna stall. Are you aware of that? You're probably yeah. stalling second if the engine comes out. Same again, we're just on a little loop round. We've got the roundabout in front, you can see the blue circle ahead, so we've identified it. I'd like yeah. you to turn right, third exit. So three o'clock if it was a clock face. Yeah. Good, nice um, positioning there. Maybe sick a little early for the garage. Yeah. Uh, second gear on the approach, quite a closed one. And how's the right looking? Can we keep rolling? Uh, no. Okay, what gear are you going to use now you've slowed down then? Yes. Brilliant. Move your right foot across to your gas. Look across the roundabout too for anything that might be whizzing around. Look. Yeah, yeah setting gas while we wobble. Good, so observations were good that time. Did your blind spot glance? Yeah. Um, you did look back over here, but to be yeah. fair, I didn't really need to. Yeah, you didn't need to. But the main thing for me was that was the last place you checked behind, yeah. and then you know you you, you told me you always have a little glance at this, don't you, when yeah. you're moving on? Because you just want to update and see if you did miss anything, if there's anything shooting down behind you, or you start speeding up. your position in there you know we talked about if you're positioned on a left bend to the right you'd see the car earlier yeah. so that could help but apart from that not much you could do there really was it no. and we'll turn left at the end of this road so you need to be short and sharp with your scanning to utilise that left bend and steer and position with it. So scanning, 
scanning, scanning, scanning. More stay here. It's that last bit there. So yeah. you need a so you need to pull down on the steering wheel just there. Yeah. And what you're looking for, try and look for this. When that kerb peels away from your dashboard, you see yeah. that kerb staying with you at the moment, isn't it? In a certain yeah. place on the, on the on the front line there, near the window wipers. When that peels away, bang, steering wheel. Right. All right. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I forgot where you I forgot where they're turning from yours. Just cover the foot brake, don't press it, but just cover it. Okay. Just clutch down and into first now, so we're gonna need to We need to watch the door mirrors, don't we here? Yeah. Are you okay with the edging technique? Like the junction yeah. work, yeah. So looking across the dash, left, right, steering appropriately. Good. We'll drive all the way down to the bottom and we'll just turn the car around. Yeah, okay. That's what my cousin wants for his next one. I want a BM. What, the, the, the three and a half litre one? Yeah. <laughs> no messing. <laughs> just check your right shoulder before you swing. That's it. Good. I'm taking it you've done this before then, turn around at the bottom here like this. Yeah. Have we talked about where to look when reversing? No. Always look over your left shoulder. Uh, right. You told me earlier actually about your dad had a few issues. Because he, he said he should have looked up where he was going or something. Yeah, he, look, he was looking at my brother's car for some reason and then he hit the concrete pole. Alright. So look, I will talk more about this when we do your first manoeuvre, which will probably be turning the road. Yeah. Um, Maybe next lesson actually, but for now, look over your left shoulder um, because you'll be able to see out the corners of your eyes as well. So more peripheral. If you're just staring this, all you'll see is directly out the back screen, and that's all. Does that make sense? Yeah. Do you have to steer first when reversing, or try and steer when the tyres are moving? Uh, right. So I'd apply the handbrakes. So you can set your feet up. So slight, on slight decline, aren't we? Right. Downhill. And check all around before you change direction because things could there's, there's loads of there's a gap there there's there there's hands behind us you know yeah. things could be so a, a six point check but finish up looking in your direction of travel as you're reversing using gentle right, okay. do I have to use you know control. the um, reverse and you have to use any acceleration or if you're really really delicate no but because this is a petrol car we've got to be quite careful so I would I would apply a gentle amount of gas right. about about the thickness of a a pound coin right, okay. but but probably no more right. all right just make sure it's you got that bite point oh, right, okay. yeah or else we'll roll forward aren't we quick check over your left shoulder right shoulder make sure it's coming down the road any cars behind or anything yeah okay. got lots of space on me good a clutch on the floor was it no. always you did well to get it in, in a new gear always make sure it's on the floor yeah when you're right. um, okay. on when you're changing gear What's the danger now before we actually move off? Just stop the car. Uh, the car's coming down the end. Yeah, and what could come from there as well? What type of things? Like pedestrians, or cyclists. Yeah, yeah. So again, you know, just be, again, we're changing direction, aren't we? Yeah. So a quick check all around. We will talk more about this when we do your, your first yeah. manoeuvre, a bit more in depth. Clear, yeah? Yeah. Last glance left. That'd just be the crunch point, wouldn't it, if something was yeah. going to develop. Pull up on the right for me, just before the BMW, yeah. preferably on the raised. Alongside the raised kerb. Don't worry if you're blocking the driveway a little bit, because we're, we're only going to be a short while. Just edge it forwards a bit now. Just turn everything off for us. And that leads us towards the end of today's session. We'll, we'll finish with a quick summary, but I mean, how have you found the session? I've, I, look, I feel a lot of confident now in how to do gears. I've, like got, I've improved now from last time from the observations. Yeah. And 
No, I just need to work on like a bit more roundabouts and maybe just like reversing and stuff. Yeah, would you like to look at manoeuvre next? Yeah. Now? Yeah, so we'll start with turning the road, I think. Um, so, main points for today. What are you... Do you need to do your observations quicker or slower? Quicker. What's the benefits of doing them that bit quicker? What else are you gaining? Like, control. You are? Well, yeah, you'll know how to control the car, but what, what are you missing through not... Through staring like one way too long sometimes. Another car could call me at any crash. It could. You positioning though is suffering sometimes. Yeah. You know with the, with the left curve yeah, is it's pinned away. Like position, it, like position like tight to the left. That's right. So try and identify as you're looking forwards or when you're scanning across, you're gonna see that curb start to peel away. Yeah. Have your left hand ready. I sometimes I position my hand towards the top of the wheel so I can start easing that steering yeah. wheel down as it peels away from me.